Hello, my name is Zill the Gamer, and welcome back to my Let's Play of The Witcher 2 Enhanced Edition. Last time we left off, we put it into this coast and beat Big Ass Drago, whatever the fuck you want to call it. And we're, I guess we're getting ready for the Besiege of Vulgan. So, this time I'll be defending Vulgan instead of attacking it, so this should definitely be an interesting uh, change of events. On the armor of courage, have no mercy. The gods be with you. Great deeds will be forgiven. To How are doing? Fucking playing and shit. Setting up defenses. Can't go that well. Alright. I heard the kid when you are marching. Uh, Run to the gate. Move those feet. Things will get hot. You'll see. Where are all my weapons? Why are my weapons not equipped? What the fuck? That would have been a really bad situation to run into. Zoltan, prepare the main. You're quite the general, Zoltan. Why not call me a bloody marshal? Sass just got it into her head. It's either me or Yarpin. We drew straws, and I lost. It's good you're up. Henselt will be here any minute. Why? Would he be disappointed not to see me? He'd be bloody depressed. Henselt's experienced at waging wars, too. Experienced, my arse. Once they stand beneath the walls, we'll douse them in hot oil and set them ablaze. Just do your part, and Kedwenny heads will fly like fattened horseflies. The can't wait you're coming! Why don't... Why doesn't they... They don't have a fucking gate. I don't... Because, like, if they had a gate... They just have all just sit on the side walls. Time to give them a taste of hot oil. There are valves in the cauldron sides. You need to clear them. I'll take the left side, you get the right. Alright. How the fuck did they get up here already? <laughs> Oh, I don't have time for this bullshit. Get in the way, buddy. Don't bother. Ah, fucking. I'm trying, asshole. Oh, the king. Don't you knock me. All right. That hot oil was a great idea. No, I should have waited until he really powered him up in there. Fire. Hey, get off my wall, dude. Bunch of iron wings. I wish I could just take the fucking wings. I want the damn swords. Damn Corinthian swords are probably shit. Fall back behind the second gate, or they'll kill us to a man! Fall back. Why are we running? Oh my god, like I couldn't kill Death Bowl? Come on now. Stop fighting. Philpo, why don't you do something? Helpful. Close the gate! Yes, sir.
to the walls. Like okay, I said, hold spray. on, I gotta love me. All right, um, I'm getting me for I, I should have unlocked this one a long time ago. Locks the ability to counter an opponent's blows. Chance to counter him instantly. All right, sweet. Hold the lines. Show them how a journey and soldiers fight. Sastya! I would kick the damn bridges off. I mean, not bridges, splatters. What the hell am I talking about? Just, I guess, Ailey. Shouldn't, shouldn't wipe the fuck off. Be hilarious. I'm gonna be shooting motherfuckers off like crazy. <laughs> this is all I'm gonna be doing right here. Dude, get the fuck off my wall, bitch. No, get the fuck off my wall. Alright, that guy's not going off. Alright, fuck it. People just gonna end up dead. Ranger Axel! Off my wall. Get lost. Ah oh, man, this dude does not want to go fly. Talking about <laughs> repel those kid wenny rags. They won't give up easily. The return of the thickest bricks. The fine bricks falling on their heads. Another assault is coming. Get ready. The day will be ours. It oh, I'm popping potions. I didn't even know I could fucking do it right now. Man, I only have enough to make one swallow. Ah, plenty of fucking pewters. And a look. Alright, sweet. Alright, I'm good. We can do, we can do this. Upper air down. Saskia! I'm gonna uh, drop a couple of Yodens down. Put a biter down too. What the hell? Why not? 
God, that shit never gets you. Right, bitch. Oh. Is this it? lady! Let's see, uh, I'll use Indy. Taking shit for damage, jeez. wasn't easy, but seeing those ruffians run was worth the effort. They'll be back. They're as stubborn as a dwarven farmer. <laughs> but the balls are much smaller. I need your help, Witcher. I'm hearing that more often lately. Seems you're irreplaceable. Listen, tunnels run beneath the town and connect the keep with the dwarven mines. Who knows about them? Almost no one, but I decided to secure them anyway and sent a detachment of scouts. None of them returned. If Hensel discovered the passage, he's got us. A bloody gentle way to put it. If they attack from two sides, we won't hold the fortress. Now's the perfect time. Hensel's men lick their wounds like flogged bitches. They'll need about an hour to regroup troops and set up formation for another assault. Let's not waste time. I'll come with you. Mm, better give me a few soldiers. Your place is here. Uh, I don't need soldiers. You shouldn't go. It's too dangerous. I thought you more keen. Since when do I avoid danger? The defenses are well prepared. Everyone knows their task. Besides, we'll make it in time. I'd rather you assigned me an able troop of men. I won't reform ranks now. This formation is effective. If they don't strike suddenly from the mines, we should hold through the siege. You're in charge. Lead on. Oh, this stupid bitch is gonna get herself killed. Let's hurry. You surprise me more and more. I thought witches stayed out of politics. I'm not interested in politics. Yet you stand on our side. I stand on Zoltan's side, Yarpen's. No dwarf would fight for Hensel. Bitch is where is she taking me? Jesus Christ.
I'll take uh, the lead. Stay fish. behind me, Saskia. A chivalrous witcher. Another surprise. The world's upside down. All right, bitch, stay behind me. Oh, fuck, go on this side. Fucking mercenaries. Damn it, I can't see shit in here. Dark right now, can't see shit. Ah, great what? fucking white fiends. Take an iron suspect for your ass and just dead. Where are you going? My lord, we'll soon reach Bergen. You'll take them by surprise. Ah, shit. Bergen is in danger, and the Virgin of Edern roams the caves with a witcher. I understand. Your cherry is aching, and thoughts turn to pleasure before death. Kill them. Hey man, I already killed one wizard today. I can take out a couple more. Some amount of Vigo need to block come attacks. Um this is my dodging goat no longer takes two hundred percent damage and staff in the back. Well fuck, what can I get over here? I should get venting so three so I can I go you know what? yeah, I'm gonna get venting. In my death mode. Hey, sure, look at those idiots. Did I just die? Oh, I'm about to say, are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck? Saska didn't kill the dragon? She is the fucking dragon! Well, I'll be damned. Good thing I sided with this bitch. I sure didn't want to fight her. I know a woman is flighty, but to that scale? 
That was now clever. you know my greatest secret. I had no choice. They would have killed you. Now I understand how you withstood the toxin. And what is it, Ed? Was it you at the siege of the Lavalette Castle? Hey, was that you? A dragon appeared during the siege of the Lavalette's castle. I was helping Arian Lavalette. Why? He fought against tyranny and its transgressions. I understood him very well. Varagin could have used someone like him. Well, my bad. Even Hitcho can't defeat an army supported by a dragon. Now I understand why you were the toxin. Now I understand how you could combat such a powerful toxin. Philippa is a great sorceress. Even she couldn't have saved you if you were human. You're a witcher, so you know a lot about us. Only golden dragons have the power to assume any form. My father was a knight with bright eyes. He treated life like a beautiful adventure. He loved humans and tried to understand them. Thanks to him, I believe every man is equal and liberty shouldn't be peddled. Father claimed the world to be filled with chaos and order. Chaos equals aggression. Order is the defense against it. What happened to him? He taught me to live among humans and moved on. Dragons do that. Huh. Well, anyone else know about this? Besides Death Mode? Does anyone else right, everybody know? Everybody now? Death Mode. I meant allies. Yorveth? Yorveth invented the whole Dragon Slayer story. He believes Eden needs someone like me, and someone like me needs a legend. He was right. If a dragon helped Vergen's defenders, Henselt wouldn't stand a chance. I thought about that. But what would happen to Upper Edern when the dust settles? Yeah, they'd probably be not your ass. You can't foresee everything. You know how the world treats freaks as well as I do. But if Vergen falls, your ideals will be vanquished. Maybe averting that is worth the sacrifice. Let's for a moment assume I revealed my dual nature. Who would lead Upper Eden? Do you see a replacement for me? It's hard to imagine one that compares to you. Dwarves will support their own candidate, elves theirs, and humans will start looking for a king. That's why I must ask you to keep this knowledge to yourself. We'll have to deal with Henselt without a dragon's help. And we will, also thanks to you. I'll never forget what you're doing for Eden, no matter your reasons, Witcher. Let's go. The defenders need you. Who would have thought? Seska, a fucking dragon. Well, I didn't get to kill Death Mode, there's probably no loot over there. We gotta walk all the way back there. Ugh. They could have insta teleported us or something. Alright, I think I'm gonna stop here for now. Please don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. And if you see anything to improve on, please let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.